Hi guys, welcome to Piece of Code and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see how you can pass the AWS Developer Associate DVA C02 exam in just three weeks. Um, we are going to see all the tricks and all the preparation strategies that you can use to pass this exam in the first attempt itself. It's not that difficult, guys. So you will be able to do it. Just uh, have a lot of confidence in yourself. Okay. Now, before starting, here is my badge uh, for the AWS Certified Developer Associate exam. Uh, in case you don't believe it <laughs> uh, it's fine so let's move on with the video so let's start uh, the presentation starting with the agenda right so let me just move this over to the top okay so let's start with the agenda so we are going to start with the exam syllabus right what is the current exam syllabus uh, and uh, the updates which were done in the new developer associate exam because Previously, it was DVA uh, C01 and it has been updated to DVA C02, but that, that doesn't mean there is a lot of new updates. There are some small updates, you're going to see that. See some new additions and deletions in the exam, you're going to see the study plan. You're going to see some material and resources, then we're going to see some types of questions which come in the particular exam. Then comparison between, you know, the developer associate exam and the solutions architect exam because a lot of topics overlap. but we have to understand how the questions come in the particular exams okay we're going to see how you can get exam topics full access without payment uh, i've already shown this thing in my previous solutions architect video but i'm also going to show it again to you guys and then we are going to see some important aws white papers for this developer associate exam then some common stuff about the exam right let us move forward guys now let us see the updates that were done in this particular uh, new exam right uh, so previously it was dva c01 now it is dva c02 and basically in in the dva c01 basically there were five uh, sections deployment security development on aws refactoring and monitoring and troubleshooting but in the new exam what happened is there are only four sections uh, of the syllabus actually what they did is uh, this refactoring section is actually common to all other sections so they have included the refactoring section in all these sections so obviously it's not that they have completely removed this section it's just that the components of the refactoring are added into this development the security deployment and troubleshooting so refactoring is like scattered everywhere because refactoring is actually a very important concept and you need to understand whenever you do any a form of development like app development you need to do a lot of refactoring so that's why they have included it like they have scattered it over these things uh, so that's why the percentage as you can see has also been like distributed like this right so let us move forward now what are some additions and deletions to the uh, existing right what, what to the to the exam right to the exam guide what are the additions and deletions that were made um, so uh, if you see this particular exam guide I have it opened actually uh, so if you see let me just go back and uh, so the exam guide should be here so this is the new exam guide uh, so I have uh, taken out the sections in which they have added and removed stuff so that you don't have to go through the whole document in this video I'm going to paste all these links in the description section though don't worry so let us see what are the additions and uh, you know the subtractions that they did with the present exam so additions they did is uh, into the domain one so there are they have been categorized into domains each each section has been categorized into domains so utilize the data stores in application development basically the database topics right have been uh, you know a lot of database topics new database topics uh, will come and more questions on the database topics will come in the exam manage sensitive data in application code so basically it is it is uh, related to app security so a new question a lot of new questions will may come from the security perspective like how do you keep your code and app secure and uh, domain three is basically test applications in development en environments automate deployment testing basically you're going to be tested in uh, different app deployment strategies for example uh, a b testing right or blue green deployments so you need to be very much uh, focused on this deployment strategies also so they have added these things and what have they removed they have only removed one particular thing from the dva01 blueprint 
which is basically uh, they have reduced the questions on AWS Elastic Beanstalk. So Elastic Beanstalk is, is a service where you can just directly write your code and deploy the code directly. But uh, uh, it has been noticed that uh, the use of Elastic Beanstalk has been decreased in practice because nowadays people actually prefer um, dockerized containers to run on ECS and using uh, you know ECR and everything. ECR and ECS is a good uh, uh, you know strategy also they like to deploy it on the various other services on AWS like auto scaling groups and everything so e e elastic beanstalk has been reduced uh, drastically and also serverless technologies are also on the rise so this is also one of the reasons why it has been re reduced so that is why it has been removed from the exam but still you may get one to two questions in the exam if they haven't changed the questions right okay let's move forward so what is the study plan that you need to do? Uh, obviously, I have also discussed this in, um, in my previous Solutions Architect video. Go for a course for 13 days or a one week. Okay, so you can do it. Even the course is for 30 hours. You can easily do it. And one of the strategies that I already use is play the video in 1.5x or 2x. You can, uh, you can finish the course in like half the time. It is one of the strategies I use and uh, keep one day for learning AWS white papers. I'm going to discuss what are the important white papers that you need to uh, study for the exam. Just need to skim through it. No need to memorize it. Okay. And then we have the practice phase. Please keep seven days at least for practicing at least for the associate level exams. Okay. So let us guys discuss about this uh, material and resources, right? And obviously at the top, uh, I always prefer Stephen Marek's courses for AWS certifications. Um, Stephen Marek, so that is uh, Developer Associate DBS C02, that is on Udemy. So it is on Udemy. And then uh, you can also go for the A Cloud Guru course, which is AWS Developer Associate DBS C02 course. Uh, but the thing about uh, A Cloud Guru is that it is very expensive, right? So if you are in a company and um, you are basically, you know, um, your company is actually paying for that. A Cloud Guru subscription, then please go with this course. Uh, it is very, very good and a lot of hands on material is there. Otherwise, just stick with this one. It is cheap and also you will be, you know, preparing uh, for the examination thoroughly. Okay. For a practice, this is the best one I, I found, right? And that is by the AWS Developer Associate Practice Test by John Bonso. It is very, very good. Please just, it is very, very comprehensive and it covers all the topics with great explanations. Okay. It is one of the top practice tests and I just prefer it uh, above all, all else. And exam topics, exam dumps, you can also go for that after practicing and everything. You can go for this some exam dumps. Uh, sometimes one or two questions may repeat in the exam. Who knows? Uh, uh, this is, uh, I'm just saying, if you want, if you want. Then you can also purchase Wizlabs practice tests or the practice test by Stephen Marek on Udemy. But in my opinion, if you are going with one and two, that is enough for you. So courses in the courses go with one and for practice go for one and two. It should be good or otherwise for the courses, you can also go with two. Okay. So these are all the material that I suggest for the exam. So let us talk about the main section and topics because see, all the AWS uh, certification associate level, uh, somehow they include all the topics. But the thing is in developer associate exam, a lot of em emphasis is actually given on app deployment and development. So all the services that is used to manage your app, deploy your app and develop your app is actually given the most priority. That is why app deployment is very, very important. Please spend a lot of time on these topics like Docker, ECS, ECR, Elastic Beanstalk and something like that. Now, in this particular exam, Elastic Beanstalk has been removed, but still give a little bit of time on Elastic Beanstalk. At least for these topics like on app deployment, please give five to six hours of practice, right? including your practice and also your videos like your training videos. CI, CD is very, very important. Continuous integration and continuous deployment, very, very important topic in the particular AWS exam. If you get questions, like 40% of the question from this section, you may get 30% of the question from this section. Okay. So code commit, code pipeline, code build and code deploy. Very, very important topics. You need to be completely immersed in these particular topics. Okay. Automating infrastructure. So in cloud formation, we create infrastructure as code, right? So it is infra as code. 
so as it is coding obviously it is required for developer associate exam so please be thorough on cloud formation also right then please be a little bit thorough on serverless technologies like dynamo db lambda api gateway serverless model and cognito okay then app integration and messaging this is also very very important like kinesis sqs and sns and uh, basically uh, other common stuff which is common for all the exams like solutions architect and also developer associate is ec2 s3 iim vpc you will get some questions obviously in this particular thing but the main sections are app development ci cd automatic infrastructure serverless technologies and app integration and messaging so you need to spend a lot of time on all these topics and you need to know the nitty gritty details uh, in how everything goes and how everything happens in this thing let's see one example so um i have created this slide which compares the saac03 and sorry let me go back saac03 topics with the dvac02 topics right and it's pretty easy if you see this thing you will get an idea what i'm talking about so in dvac02 you get selected services and topics like right we just discussed in our previous slide that we get selected topics and services but in saac03 in the solutions architect basically all the topics and services are covered so you will think that this is a bit little bit difficult but the thing is dva c02 is more difficult because you need to know all the whatever services you going to run you need to learn you are going to know them inside out so basically you have to learn it in detail so it basically focuses on how the app is deployed and integrated like these services but this thing focuses on how service interacts with another service and the type of architectures we can have this which which kind of with these particular services it is kind of related to system design you can just say or system design architecture so if you are f uh, good with uh, you know you have a basic knowledge about all the services in aws but you know how each service functions with each other right the architectures with uh, all the services then you are good for the solutions architect you don't know to know how dynamo db uh, provision capacity works or how many read capacity units or read capacity uh, write capacity units is in one particular provision capacity you don't have to know about that to pass the solutions architect exam but you need to know about all those concepts if you want to score marks in dynamo db section in um, developer associate exam so that's the difference actually so you need in depth knowledge of various services but you don't need it in here you just need a uh, overview and all and and you need the you know architectures of uh, different services in uh, solutions architect okay guys now let us see the examples of questions which may get in the particular exam we are going to see only one example and this example is regarding api gateway and lambda we are going to see two examples of the same topic one for the developer associate which is this one and one for the solutions architect okay and we are going to see and co compare the question how it comes in the exam now if you read this question it says that a developer is building a web application that uses api gateway right amazon api gateway cool the developer wants to maintain different environments it means that obviously their application have different environments like development production and uat so they want to maintain different apis or something like that uh for dev and prod workloads the api will be backed by aws lambda function with two aliases one for dev and one for prod so to answer this question you need to know some nitty gritty details about api gateway and one of those details is that in api gateway you can have stages it means that you can have in simple terms you can have uh multiple environments for your dev and prod region or a uat region so that will be given by a stages so you can have a dev stage you can have a prod stage and you can have a uat stage for example and for each stage you can have an api for that and it will be done automatically you don't have to manage that so and in lambda you need to know one concept about aliases aliases means that uh, you can have multiple versions of your lambda function so you can have one version for prod you can have one version for for example uat and one version for dev right so by comparing these concepts of api gateway and lambda the only viable option in this particular scenario is b 
I'm not going to explain all the things because we don't have the time. You need to learn about API Gateway and Lambda in depth for this particular question. But this B completely states that use a stage variable in place of an alias. Deploy the API into two different stages, dev and prod. So as stages are mentioned and this is mentioned, that is the most viable option for API Gateway. Create a stage variable in each stage with the different aliases as the values okay and access the api by using the different stage urls as i've told you right for different stages you are going to get different api urls so you can discard option a because uh, create a rest api for each environment is actually a very bad practice creating only one rest api is also not a good thing so c and d are also not the answers uh, b is the correct answer in this particular case now let us compare the same question uh, that comes in the uh, SAAC 03 of the solutions architect exam and it also includes API gateway and um, you know lambda functions but here that's why I have given a diagram and here if you see it is more of an architectural question the question may come that okay the requests are coming in from route 53 which is a DNS service and you are ingesting the requests using an API gateway how would you send a notification to SNS you can do a lot of things in this case you can have an event bridge over here a bus which will send the notification to sns or you can keep a aws lambda function which will have two logics one for sending to sns and another one to send for into an s3 bucket to store some data similarly you can have another authorizer lambda function which has some logic and it stores some data in dynamo db so you see you just seeing that how services are communicating with each other or how uh, architectures are established between different services that's what we are seeing in this particular scenario that's the difference between the developer associate and the solutions architect exam the same topics will come but it will come in different scenarios so you need to understand the difference and prepare it accordingly okay yeah so let's move forward so let us see how you can get exam topics uh, you know you can get full access for uh, kind of free so uh, you know this is for this these are the questions for the developer associate exam right and after this particular question uh, exam uh, question number 220 when i click on the next page i will be greeted with a, a payment page right only after payment you are going to get the rest of the uh, 230 questions but there is a work around to that so for example uh, you want to access question number 221 right so what you can do is simply uh, go to the top uh, copy this particular name till here AWS Certified Developer Associate uh, create a new tab and just go exam topics uh, just just go for this and just search for 221 and if you go over here and uh, you can see that you see 221 question over here uh, if you want for example 222 just search like this and here is 222 and for example you want 223 uh, just see here we have 223 so you will get maximum like all the questions from exam topics so you have to just keep on searching like this it's kind of a pain but still you will be able to you know access this uh, exam topics for free like this okay now let's go back to the slides uh, the last thing that I want to discuss is some important AWS white papers so you need to learn or you just need to skim through all these white papers it will take maximum one hour or something like that one of those is ci cd on aws implementing microservices on aws serverless architectures running containerized microservices on aws and blue green deployments on aws i actually have all the links to these things over here okay uh, here uh, here are all the links uh, so this this is for uh, continuous uh, ci cd this one is for microservices. I'll include all the links in the description. This is for serverless technologies and these for containerized microservices and blue green. And here are all the course links also that I just talked about like John Bonso practice tests and um, uh, this is the guide. And uh, you, as you can see in A Cloud Guru, the, the pricing is so much like $348 per year. So if you do not have uh, a company subscription, then please don't go for this uh, A Cloud Guru if you don't want to spend a lot of money. Um, best, best is this course, so you are getting it for 449 bucks, which is really good. Uh, you can also refer to my courses which is on my youtube channel obviously uh, so i have created a lot of videos on uh, solutions architect 
these are some videos and i'll be adding more on more videos on various topics these are all detailed videos you can go on that uh, if you are interested in pursuing a java certification then you can go for the oracle certified associate series on my youtube channel i'll be also posting uh, on developer associate exam also like cloud formation and everything so if you want to watch those then you are free to watch those okay the last thing that i want to talk about is uh, the about the exam and uh, basically you have to register in aws turning uh, training fee for the exam is 150 us dollars you have to provide one identity document no notes are allowed 65 questions will be asked in 130 minutes use the flag feature to mark the questions if you want to revisit to pass you need to score at least 720 and you will know within 5 days if you have passed or not and if you fail you can retake the exam again 14 days later so yeah that was all about this particular video guys if you have any questions please post it down in the comments i'll be happy to answer those questions and also yeah if you like the video please press the like button uh, also share the video and best of luck for the exam till then bye bye